Okay, in this tutorial, we're going to show how to create a boat hull. So to start off with, go to File, New, Part. Press OK. Then create a rectangle on the top plane. So go to top plane. Want a new sketch. Then to create a rectangle. To measure that rectangle using the Smart Dimension tool, click onto the line and then move up. That needs to be 160. Press OK. And then this needs to be 40. Press OK. Now we're going to create the point of the boat. So using the little node and then bring back the line and then again using the line tool make sure you press escape select the line tool again make sure we're on the little node and then bring that across press OK we need to measure this angle to make sure the angle from here so click on to the line click onto the second line bring that out and that angle needs to be 45 degrees and the same again click on one line click on another line it needs to be 45 degrees press OK now lots of random lines here need to be trimmed I'm going to use the trim tool press the left hand mouse key and then just walk that round intersecting all the lines that you do not need. Press OK. We're then going to round the back edges using the fit tool. That needs to be 15 mil. And then select one line, select the second line, and the fillet goes in, and then the third line. Now we need again trim these lines so again get the trim tool make sure they disappear press OK if we orientate this so we can see it like so and then we're going to go to features extrude we're going to extrude this to 20 mil. Happy with that? Tick the box. Press OK. That then created that into being 20 mil. We're now going to create the cabin. So if you go to File, New, Part, press OK. And this is going to actually work on the front plane. And then and we're on a new sketch of front plane, just like before. And we're going to drop a rectangle. And again, we need to measure that rectangle. be 10 by 70 press OK and then we'll put jumper on the edge so again making sure on the note bring that line up like that and then we're going to smart dimension this to make sure this is again 45 degrees press OK and again we're going to trim this so again, holding the left mouse button down, turn that on like so. Those lines are then disappeared. We're happy with that. We're going to orientate it so we can see it. And the orientation hopefully is going to be there. Whoa. Again, we're going to orientate it. We go to features, and this time we're going to extrude this. 
to 40 mil. Press OK. We're happy with that. And then we just got to trim these around these edges here. So if we then go to fill it, fill it to all be 10 mil, which is great. Click onto this edge, click onto this edge, press OK, and that'll fill it that round. We now need to create some holes in the top of our cabin. And to do that, we're going to again orientate it so we can see the top. Now, we need to make sure that our sketch is going to be on the top of here. So if we click on sketch, we click on the line. I want to make sure now we're in sketch, we just click onto this top surface here. That makes it active. Then we want line. And then we're again looking for this little node in the center here. No, okay, we're going to the other end interesting we're going to insert line yes we want to insert line hmm. there it is there's our little note bring that little note back into here then going to make this oh, so it's 50 press ok and if we come into here around about 15 so I'm happy with this I'm then going to create a line because these are little construction lines and line that direction from that end we then made these two lines with a smart dimension and I'm going to make them 15 Make that 15. Again, smart dimension. Ooh. Nope, I'm going to smart dimension this one. Put another line in here. Smart dimension. That's going to be 15. Double click and then make that 15. Press OK. Now, what these lines detect, I'm going to use my circle tool and I'll get little lines and then little, little lines going up to our center line. Drop that line into here and again, see my little lines are coming into here. Where that intersects, drop that into there. I'm going to smart to mention that in mil. Double click, then we want 10 mil. Oh, hang on a minute, let's not dimension it. Double click, smart dimension 10 mil. Now we need to clear some of this up. So, again, use the trim. Holding the tab down, walking around, making sure we go outside this course. There we go. And then if you want to come inside, you can click onto that and then delete it. Or you can use the trim command. Wrap with the trim, get the trim again. Again, using the trim command. I'm happy with that. I'm going to go in there and delete that. So if I select it, select it, press delete, that should disappear. Press delete, that should disappear. My final section with this, let me go and see it. And then I'm going to go features, extrude cut. And cut that right the way through. 
press OK. I must have orientated this correctly. So you can see what's going on in terms of the top of the cabin. The final thing that we have to create is the funnels. So go to part, press OK. And it's very simple. We're going to use the top plane. We're going to sketch, create a circle, create a circle right in the middle. Smart dimension circle. And that wants to be 10 mil. Press OK. And then we're going to extrude this. By 20 mil. Press OK. And then that's that. Press OK. We're going to save that as funnel.